In this video, we are going to review the sea temperature features available from SiriusXM Marine. To access these features, you will need to install a Raymarine SR200 with a compatible Axiom MFD. Once installed, you'll need to call SiriusXM Marine at 855-869-5480 and ask for the fish mapping package. You will also need to ensure your MFD has the most current software from Raymarine. Please visit the Raymarine Support Center for software update information. Once these steps are completed from your Raymarine MFD home screen, you can select chart. On the next screen, tap the menu icon at the top of the chart screen. From the list on the right, select mode, and then fish mapping. Fish mapping should now be shown as the mode when the chart menu is selected. Now in the fish mapping menu, note the following. Fishing recommendations, fish mapping layers, show legend. We recommend you keep this on while you familiarize yourself with all the features and the gear wheel symbol, which represents settings. Next, select the settings button and then the fish mapping tab at the top. This subscription page allows you to see the time and date information about when each data layer was updated and received. If no timestamp is present, the data has not downloaded. You should then leave the system on and check again in a few minutes. Once the times are present, you can return to the fish mapping menu. Next, select fish mapping layers button. You should now see several categories. Select SST contours. Press X in the upper right to view sea surface temperature contours on the full screen. This allows you to view contour lines where the sea surface temperatures are changing. This information is updated every 12 hours. The number shown along the red contour line is the surface sea temperature along that line. A new line shows where the temperature has changed by two or more degrees. This highlights areas or breaks where the water temperature is changing from cool to warm, attracting bait fish. If you look at the legend, you will also note the areas with cooler temperatures are shaded in light red and the shade darkens where the water gets warmer. To even better define a desired temperature area, go to the menu and select data display limits. Selecting this allows you to better highlight a specific temperature range. Here, we have changed the SST contour limits from off to manual and changed the upper and lower limits to show only areas where the temperature is between 72 and 75 degrees. Returning to the full screen, notice how only contours within this range are now displayed. You can also use these contours to help locate your target species based on the preferred water temperature range. Best practice would be to fish along the line showing the target temperature for the species of fish you are after, or running between two lines that have the largest change in temperature in the smallest area. Also, by adjusting the range, this reduces clutter, allowing you to combine more fish mapping features to better locate the best fishing area on a given day. For the next temperature feature, press the menu button, then fish mapping layers and SST front. Press X in the upper right-hand corner to view sea surface temperature front strength on the full screen. This feature allows you to see the estimated strength of ocean fronts, which is where significant temperature changes create distinct boundaries between bodies of water. This information is updated every 24 hours. Steep temperature changes or fronts concentrate nutrients which attract bait fish and also create barriers to fish movement. The location of strong and very strong fronts are good places to find game fish. And locations where both the temperature and the plankton fronts coincide, there tend to be better fishing. Strengths are shown as red lines numbered on a scale of one to four. One designates a weak front, two, a moderate front, three, a strong front, and four, a very strong front. 
Ideally, if you can fish a strong or very strong front, you will increase your chances of catching fish. The lines also correspond to the menu with weak fronts being a lighter shade of red and moving to dark red as the fronts increase in strength. You can also touch on a line and this will display a pop-up window with the front strength and its updated time. Additionally, if you can find a location where temperature fronts coincide with plankton fronts, there tends to be even better fishing. For the next temperature feature, press menu again, then fish mapping layers, then 30 meter sub temp. Press X to view the 30 meter subsurface temperatures on the full screen. This feature shows what the estimated water temperature is 30 meters below the surface. This information is updated every 24 hours. Different species of fish prefer specific ranges of temperatures. This feature allows you to identify areas with the preferred temperature range of your target game fish in the area below the surface where they are likely to be hunting. Like surface temperatures, subsurface temperature contour lines are displayed on the screen in darker or lighter shades corresponding to the temperature. Along the line, the temperature will be shown in as small as one degree increments. As indicated by the legend, the contour lines where the water is cooler will be lighter and the lines will darken as the water becomes warmer. As with surface temperatures, subsurface temperature limits can also be manually adjusted to show only specific temperature ranges to better target a specific species or reduce clutter on screen. This feature has been proven to be very effective for finding cooler thermoclines well below the surface of the water when large areas of the surface temperature itself are all the same temperature. Note, there will be no lines where the water depth does not exceed 30 meters. For additional information and resources, please visit our fish mapping website at SiriusXM.com forward slash fish mapping. For videos specific to your marine display, please visit our marine video library at SiriusXM.com forward slash marine library. Please also stay in touch by joining our social media sites. We encourage all of our SiriusXM marine subscribers to share your comments, including your success stories. Or if you need support, please reach out via email to marine.support at SiriusXM.com. Thank you.